Hello, what's up people? Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make something effect. They are called the easy bubble. I call the easy bubble, which is this one is the Apple logo, which is coming upwards, and this one, which is curved out, and we can see the behind of this this plank. And how about this one? This this one. This is, there is a uh, a glass covering the cut the curb area. So I'm gonna be deleting all of this. So let's start with the simple steps. First, you're gonna need to find a PNG image, such as the this one, Apple logo. So I might use this one. Drag it into your conversation. Make sure it is a PNG image. Resize it. And when you got it right here, resize it to your desire. Rename this layer as um, name is shape. And double click on this layer. Enable bevel and emboss. Auto bevel. Depth, the depth maybe 120. The size maybe 1 is enough. Deactivate the use global setting. And drag this little tiny cross downwards. Okay. Downwards. About negative 90 or and 0 degree. Uh, no, no, 16 degree. Okay. Now enable inner shadow. Click on inner shadow. And you can mess around here the distance, the, sh the size. Well, you can adjust it according to your wish. To your wish. So there you have it, a simple bevel. See, it works on anywhere. So the second thing is how are you going to make this bright area, the white area, to become the same texture as this, the background. So we click on, click on the background, hit, uh, I mean, hold on control, and hit A. You will select the whole image. So you click on the background. So hold on control C to copy and control V to paste. To paste a new layer. Next name is this a clip mask. So you gonna have to drag this clip mask layer in front of this shape. And then right click on the clip mask layer and create clipping mask layer, clipping mask for the layer beneath beneath this layer. So you see here the color is just the same as the background. So all you need to get, all you need to do is you have to change this clip mask. Uh, the brightness, so you're gonna have to go in image adjustment, maybe and the level, the level. So you're gonna have to drag the center, center point to the right. Okay, according to your, to the way you like it. 
Okay, well, this one is nice. Well, the fun fact about clipping mask is it will auto automatically refer, I mean, uh, take the shape for the layer uh, before it, such as for this layer is shape. So the photo clip mask, you can just drag around it. The clip mask, it will not affecting the, the layer below it. So here you have it, it's a perfect bevel, it's an easy bevel. So you might have one to click on this clip mask and use the directional arrow to go down a bit, maybe three times, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six times to make uh, the, the behind layer to, to become like, um, uh, been cut out. I mean, this shirt has been cut out. So you're gonna have to select both of this, both of this layer by holding Control and select. Uh, you just have to select the shape and drag it here. So make a new shape by right click on this and duplicate another new layer. So she will name it shape two. Oops, the click mask has lost its direction, so you have to create another click mask. So for the shape two, drag it to the side, and this uh, this time you can make uh, this bevel to come uh, outward. So in the shadow, it's not neat. You gonna need is the drop shadow, and the bevel. Change this one to ninety. Oh, you might not gonna need it also. So you gonna need drop shadow only. So uncheck the global light, switch to ninety. The distance you adjust it yourself. Uh, yeah, that's all. And for the glassy loops in front of this, for this cutout, so you have to copy this one again, this shape, this shape again, and the clip mask duplicate, and then drag this shape tree, maybe it's shape tree, drag it down here. And make a new layer. Release this new layer from clip mask. Oops. So you're gonna need to drag this new layer. Name it as glass. So drag it outwards. Release clip mask. And it will release. We're not affecting anything. So you're gonna need to to. Um, to click this at a, la a mass layer, uh, no, no, no. you just gonna need to hold control and hover on the shape you want it to to refer. You want it to to go for. I mean, to refer the shape. So you click on shape three, which is shape three. Hold on control and click. Click. On this, when you see the icon, you see there is a little box there, and you click it, and it will automatically mask this uh, PNG for you, this image. So you're gonna need to click this at mask layer, and it will create a mask layer. So you're gonna need to click this. And start drawing. Set of testing.
yeah now you're going to do is click this layer again and go upwards one time use the direction error hit it one time and there you have it a glass for the cutout so there is it for me is the bubble so thanks for watching hope you learned something from this tutorial and we'll see you soon